Bronx drill is wild. With all the beef going down in the city, ops catch each other all the time. If you ain't moving smart, it's only a matter of time before you get caught in a bad situation. Today, we're breaking down Bronx rappers and ops who got caught lacking. K Flock is locked up on Rico and murder charges right now, but he was becoming the face of Bronx drill before he got booked. His music was popping off like crazy, but he was always making headlines for spinning the block and looking for ops on IG Live. Flock ain't just rap about the streets, he was actually in the trenches. He came up in a crazy area of the Bronx called Sefside, and the set he reps has major beef with another crew called the YGs. The YGs are one of the most hated sets in the city, but they got a lot of rappers putting in work in the booth. One of their hottest artists was a dude named Rod G's. Back in the day, you would just go do your dirt and move on, but now ops can hop on social media and send shots online. K Flock and Ra were always sending threats back and forth, and they even hop on IG Live together to diss each other. Flock wasn't just gonna keep it online though. According to the police, K Flock and other dudes from Southside and Third Side were shooting up the city all the time between 2019 and 2022. They claimed that Sev and Third Side linked up to terrorize the Bronx, and Flock was allegedly neck deep in the trenches with them. K Flock went live on Instagram and spun the YG's block to let everyone know how serious he was about the beef. Flock pulled up to their hood in broad daylight to show how comfortable he was, and the crazy part is, nothing happened to him. Right after Flock pulled up to his ops hood, Rod G's hop on live and challenge him to come back. Somebody attack a flock, nigga, niggas not nah, playing him, come right back. Fuck niggas outside right now, as we speak. Out, you coming through hard and all live, blocking niggas off your live so niggas can't see your shit. Like, what's up? Pop out, nigga, we outside. Yeah, yo, K flock, pop out. What happened next proved you should be careful what you wish for, though. After they went back and forth on live, a video came out showing some of Flock's homies allegedly chasing Rod down the street. Then Flock aired him out for letting him spin his block with no consequences on the track Power and rapped. Ra Ra, he saw me, he ain't let it clap. Like, ask him how much I threw back. I'm a demon. I like to react. Ra clapped back on the track Real Facts and said, Ayo KK, now let's talk the facts. Anytime that they threw, I threw back. And DOAK, catch a flocka, he flopped. And Lil KK, that boy know my bop. Why is you lying? You know I threw shots. Had y'all niggas ducking on y'all tops. It didn't look like anyone actually took shots at Flock when he was in YG's territory, but that's not the only time he spun their block on live. One time, he slipped through the YG's hood with C-High Watts and some other dudes. They saw an op walking down the street, and that's when Flock hopped out the whip and tried to run him down. He right, he right there, he right there, he right there. Where, where? He right there. Don't run! Don't run, nigga! Yo, Flock, it's out of his up! Flock out! Flock caught his ops slacking on IG Live, but this next dude ran down on the ops while the whole camera crew was following him. Shy EK is one of the hottest rappers in the Bronx right now. He's known for sending wild disses at everyone, even his old homies. He came up in the Corlin projects and reps the OGs. But back in the day, he was cool with K Flock and Dougie B before street politics got in the way. Vice News was shooting an episode with Shy one day when he had court. Most rappers wouldn't crash out when they're being recorded for a documentary. But when Shaw spotted his ops outside the courthouse, hey, stop running! Yo, stop running! The cops jumped in to break it up before anything serious went down. But Shaw made it clear that he was ready to throw down anytime and anywhere. People outside the city don't understand why you'd be fighting in front of the courthouse. But Shaw told Cam Capone news that it happens all the time. But how did that happen in front of the police, in front of the courthouse? That was in front of the courthouse. That shit happened every day. Really? Any day, Monday to Friday in the courthouse, that's what happened. So it's Every really day. like on time. If I see you, it's on time. Because everybody catching cases, so everybody getting the same court day, and you don't even know. So once you go there, you see one of your ups. Shaw also said if you want to catch somebody lacking, the courthouse makes it easy. Oh, niggas be posting, wish me good luck at court. Once you do that, our block is right there, so only place you can see them is 161 on the courthouse, and now we can face them. That's, that's what just happened. Getting recorded by Vice while fighting your ops is wild, but Shaz filmed himself putting hands on them too. You were just screaming Trilly. Why are you screaming Trilly? Getting pressed like that on camera is bad enough, but what Shaz did to another op was way more embarrassing. Shaw posted a video of himself walking up to a whip with a dude sitting inside next to his mom. It's not clear who the other dude is, but Shaw told him, Stop saying you OG's K, nigga. Stop saying you OG's K. If I slap shit out, you worried about my mother, nigga. 
Shah's op wouldn't even look up at him or say anything, and it was clear he didn't want no smoke. What's really wild about Shah E.K. is that he was still going to school, and since the ops knew where he was, made the situation sketchy for him. He caught a lot of ops lacking on camera, but one time, he was the one who got caught. You must be out of you pussy! What? Come on, sir! You know what time right? Come on, sir! Come on, sir! Come on, sir! Pop Smoke put the wolves on the map for people outside of the city, but a duel from their rivals, the Trolls, went viral for catching an op lacking on IG Live. Freshy the General is a troll affiliated rapper who was chilling on the block and went live on IG. Everything was cool at first, but when his homie spotted an op named Quay, Freshy took off running at him and screaming. No. Nope. <laughs> That's Quay! Yo, we on it! What about what? weren't able to catch up to the dude, but Freshy was obviously ready to stomp him out on camera. But when you moving like that, there's always a chance you'll end up on the wrong side of a beating. And that's exactly what happened next. Freshy had beef with a dude named OMB JD, and JD ended up catching him lacking. JD recorded Freshy walking down the street by himself and said he could be in a spliff right now if JD really wanted to do something. Freshy clapped back and said JD wasn't going to do anything except post on IG, and that turned out to be a huge mistake. JD let him go the first time, but Freshy wasn't so lucky the second time it happened. JD and his homies caught Freshy in the street and handed him a brutal beatdown. They dragged him across the concrete, then embarrassed him even more by giving him a wedgie like a little kid. Set the Trend is a Bronx drill rapper who's tight with K-Flock, but while Flock is famous for sliding on ops on live, Set went viral last year after getting caught lacking on video. Set the Trend has beef with the YGs, and last year one of 22G's homies, Key Herbo, allegedly pressed him on camera. A video came out showing Set looking uncomfortable while some dudes off camera are calling someone pussy. Hey, he be talking, pussy, boy. he be talking, he be talking, pussy, boy. Boy. Pussy, It's not clear exactly what was going down that night, but Key Herbo posted another video where he was allegedly on the phone with Set the Trend talking about the situation. It sounds like Key Herbo was trying to throw hands, but Set didn't want to get jumped. Why when I told you let's fight, you ain't want to fight though, gang? Watch what you mean, nigga, I told you one on one. Said the trend clapped back and said they was all just clout chasing. He wasn't going to give it to him. So I'm trying to get that clout up because I'm not giving y'all no clout. I dirty black motherfuckers. Set also went viral a few months back for spinning on his old homie C Blue on live. C Blue and Set were all good back in the day. But after they started sending shots back and forth on social media, Set the trend went looking for him on the block. He didn't catch him on live, but Set allegedly smashed up C Blue's whip. And that's when C Blue went live too and tried to track him down. Nothing serious ended up happening, but if they still have beef, it's probably only a matter of time before it pops off again.